Yes, sir, just so we have the terminology straight, when you say George Papadopoulos had no official capacity, what do you mean by that? I mean, he was uh, a volunteer on the campaign and a volunteer member of an advisory council that met one time. So his activities were entirely of his invention. No one asked him to do any of these things. Is that what you're telling the American public? I'm telling you that he was a volunteer member of a, an advisory council that literally met one the time. What I ask is now there are two episodes in which people associated with the campaign at a rather <laughs> high level, at least in one instance, and George Papadopoulos is a member of a foreign policy or military advisory committee, sought dirt on Hillary Clinton from people representing themselves as either linked to or associated with the Russian government. Is that just a coincidence? The only um, interaction I'm aware of that deals with this individual was him reaching out and being repeatedly denied. So that's all I can tell you is he was he asked to do things he was basically pushed back or not responded to in any way. Uh, so any actions that he took would have been on his own and you'd have to ask him about those because I can't answer. Later, I the sure. campaign to have Thanks, that similar sir. that same kind of meeting at Trump Tower. I'm sorry? What explains the campaign's later involvement with those associated with the Russian government or said they were to get dirt on Hillary Clinton later in the campaign. So are these things they too, took one meeting, nothing came of it. Uh, no, I don't believe so. That, that does not indicate a pattern of trying to obtain that information from a that pattern government. Of getting information about your opponent. No, from, the big the big difference government. here is you from have a meeting that took place versus millions of dollars being sent to create fake information to actually influence the election. You compare those two, those are apples and oranges. What the Clinton campaign did, what the DNC did was actually exchange money. They took a meeting. Those are far different and and one uh, is pretty common practice in any campaign to take a meeting. The other one is actually paying money for false information. That's a big deal and a big difference. Excellent.